Students first versus most recent welds part two. Student number one first weld. Student number one welds today. Student number two first weld. Student number two welds today. Student number three first weld. Student number three welds today. James. Yes. What's the scariest job you've ever been on? I worked 1,500 feet underground in a mine, drilling and blasting. They told us, don't worry if it caves in, you're already buried. It all depends what kind of experience you got, what kind of training you've got. Uh, all I can really do is tell my story. I dropped out of high school at 16 years old. I went right to work. I broke out well. Then when I was 18, my best year ever, I made $352,000. I got pay stubs to prove it. If you guys scroll down a little ways, you can see a video we did where we showed the pay stubs. And uh, so it's all what you make of it. If you believe you can, you can. Hey Bryce, how much could you start out making on a pipeline after school? A bunch of money. A bunch Big, of money? Yeah. Big pay, arm pay, per diem, upwards of, I don't know, 5000 a week at least. $80 Amazon welder versus $6,000 welder. $80 machine. $6,000 machine. All right, tip of the day. When you're welding smaller pipe, what I personally like to do, when we're out of there, when I'm hot passing, and I'll bend it. That way I can roll my wrist as I'm going, I don't have to move my whole arm. That way I can make it from the top to the bottom. Check it out. I think it more. another cutting tip of the day when you're cutting your coupons and you got this little spot here that's scrap let's say you have to stop your cut you're gonna get in here make a cut and then do this little circle up here in the garbage part so it looks something like this cutting straight I want to stop I reach up here and cut a little circle out now you got a really good spot to restart on when facing a branch soldering wire Get your set of 532, bend them around. So when you set your top on there, and you got a wide gap or a tight gap, you can mash it down and it holds it and closes your gap up. And after you tack it, instead of trying to get your spacers out, take a torch or a preheater and it melts right out and it's not in your way anymore. Adam! You're doing that all wrong, dude. No way. Yeah. You're supposed to put only a eighth inch landing on there. There's no landing on it yet. Yeah, that's what I see. Hey, congratulations, student of the week. No way. Yeah, sorry. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Hey, you've been showing up and you've been jamming this out. How, when did you start? Uh, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, and you're already on pipe, welding pipe. So that's awesome. Thank you. I all right, man. You, man. Here's what we got. We got some... Uh, Grinding wheels, we got some of them sunglasses, some uh, caps, some welding caps, uh, gloves. Go ahead and pick about three things. All right. Man, you've been doing a great job. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. It what are we doing? Why aren't we working? Cole, you're about to graduate, yeah. and you're not even in there working. Uh -oh. We all that good of welders already that we don't have to go in and weld. I didn't say that. Uh -huh. say it sounds like, yeah. some, sounds like somebody wants to race for a case or something here. Yeah, if you can beat me welding. Oh. Uh, I'll challenge. Well, I'll, lose. <laughs> I'll lose, but I'm down for it. Come on, I don't think you got enough money because neither one, none of you are going to win. Cole, <laughs> your student of the week, fella. Oh. Well, did you want $50 in a tow room or do you want merch out of the case? Uh, merch out of the case. 
Okay, there you go. I'll just gonna hand you the 50. Nice job, dude. Appreciate it. Yeah, normally, cool. normally I'd be like, hey, this guy's in there working all the time. He's always in his booth, but every time I say that, they proved me wrong. <laughs> I am. You are, normally you are, yeah. Thank you. You bet, man. Nice job. Proud of you. Thanks for the hard work. Mr. Samuel. Congratulations, your student of the week. All your hard work and dedication to this, this school is really shown and paid off. You're doing really good. Thanks. You're student of the week. Uh, let's go up front here. We've got a few options you can choose from. Yes. Uh, let's go let's take a walk up here. Congratulations, man. Thanks. Okay, so we got some gloves, hat. Uh, some wire wheels, grinding wheels, uh, welding beanies, uh, sunglasses. You can pick a couple of things. Or you can get the uh, $50 gift card for anything in the tool room. I guess I'm going to get a pair of gloves and a hat. Go. All right, sir. Congratulations, man. Thanks. You really do a good job here. Thanks. Here's the tip of the day. How to set your cutting torch. Ah, oh, we got fire. You don't need a really aggressive flame, that's wrong. No bueno. Let's get her down there where it's kind of soft, about three inches between the tip. Give her a little bit of oxygen. Can't even hear it, sounds good. There you go, that's how you set your cutting board. Shut your oxygen off, shut your acetylene off, done. Hey, I got a good tip for you guys and gals out there that deal with this coated pipe a lot. Um, a really good easy way to take this off is to take your weed burner heat it up now when you heat this up you're not actually burning the coating off you're just heating it up to where it, it'll melt and it'll slide off real easy with your uh, machete we'll demonstrate this here Okay, now you can take your machete and peel it right off. Look at that. Peels just right off, super easy. Right down to that bare metal. Now, there's a couple of ways. Now, you can take your wire wheel and also take it off. This is a little bit faster if you have a bigger area to take off for like if you're putting your bevel machine on or whatever. 